Hello, we're in Holyoke, Massachusetts this evening, and we're in front of the congregation, the Red Face Shalom, a synagogue for the Jewish religion. And in particular, specifically, it's for the Orthodox um, denomination within the Jewish religion. Now, they give services, of course, on Saturdays, the morning and evening. To them, it's called the Sabbath. And the altar, or the section where the Mass is told, is a further section away from us. And the congregation sits in the direction that we are at. So it's very similar to a Christian church in that sense. Now, it has a Star of David on its front made out of brick, and the brick facade suits it very well. Now, this is not the original Ratfi Shalom. The original Ratfi Shalom of, of all was originally at Park Street, which later became Clemente Street. And this one was built here in September of 1953. In that year, they came up here and they had left their um, synagogue on Park Street, which was which was a nice location, but it was a rather small place. So this is this gave it at least twice the size. Now there's another synagogue inside of Holyoke called the Sons of Zion. That one's located on the Maple Street, and that was the first synagogue for the other denomination that. Uh, is within Hoyle Mass Reform. Right, they're a little bit more liberal than than this one here. Now, there there is a social hall alongside it where classrooms take place. Right, and towards the back there's a place um, even for another social hall. So the place where the congregation really meets is in the furthest ring, wing to the left. Right, and there used to be also a school within here. Uh, where they'd have Sunday schools and other days, night schools, and so forth. There, there also was associated with a, a strong sisterhood and a strong brotherhood. It's located on a fisher on its own street. It's on Northampton Street, but on a street called Four Avenue. And the reason why is because they had a lot of rabbis for this place down at the one on Park Street. They, they had about six rabbis, and, but the best known one of all is Lee Fo. He served 1923 to 1948, 25 years, had rabbi at this congregation, and also at the congregation of Sons of Zion. So he do one, one day, and the next one he do another day. So that's a lot of work, but he had a, a good assistant. And once they came up here, they had a series of rabbis also. Now, there's a lot of pieces to a synagogue, and one includes a cemetery. In the beginning, they would use the Sons of Zion Cemetery in the Fairview neighborhood of Chickabee. But then, in 1924, their own cemetery was ready, and that's on Pendleton Avenue, the upper part in Chickabee. And there they have the Rod Fisher Lump Cemetery, which celebrated this year its 100th anniversary. And also other pieces that you other pieces that you need around the area. Uh, maybe a nursery school and they had one. And that's because they wanted not only to accumulate money, but they also wanted to bring up the ch children in a Jewish sense. There also was the equivalent of a YMCA and a YWCA. It was on High Street. It was called the YH, uh, well, I'm sorry, YMHA and YWHA, the Young Men's Hebrew Association, and th that was quite good. So it's quite an active location and congregation, and they're still very active to this very day. So thank you for coming here.